Hey you guys, what's up, my name is Trix Nico, and welcome back to another video. As the mythological ritual currently is by far my most favorite event in Hypixel Skyblock, I took it upon myself to not only code a mod to make it even more enjoyable, but also to give you an insight on the actual stats possible. But before we get into this video, let me just quickly ask you guys to head on over to my Twitch channel and make sure to hit me up with a follow if you want to see me grind away on this event live. Other than that, as always, feel free to subscribe and if you enjoy what you see, then make sure to like it as well. But for now, let me show you the, at least for now, cool coolest event in Hypixel Skyblock. If you've never heard about the mythological ritual and or you're in desperate need for a guide, then make sure to either click the link down below or just right up here as I simultaneously to this video uploaded a pretty detailed guide onto it. But as this video is not supposed to teach you about the event itself but rather the capabilities, let me show you what I did. You guys seem to love me combining my coding ideas with Hypixel Skyblock and therefore I took it upon myself to code a tiny little mod that helps you with a tiny list for the mythological event. This mod was private up until now. I haven't officially released the mod as this is the first mod that I'll ever release and I want to make sure that it is as good as possible. But I will open the closed beta that we have been working with for over a month now to you guys and from now on you'll be able to download it for yourself. Please be aware that this is currently still in the beta version with not too many features yet but if I caught your interest feel free to check out the link down below. So what exactly did I now do with this mod? I basically just kept track of how many creatures I actually killed. And yeah, I also kept track of the rare loot, but I did that by hand. And funny enough, I even found a Hypixel Skyblock coding bug. This bug was basically just the fact that whenever you dig up an Inquisitor, the chat message still says it's a minus champion. Nothing too major, but that's the reason why you won't see a single Inquisitor on my list, as it actually just counted towards the minus champions. As I like I already said, love this event, and you guys are here for some numbers and rare loot, let me get right into it. So first and foremost, I was using a legendary griffin pet to be able to at all times dig up every creature and fight them in their strongest form possible. In the beginning, I might have actually struggled a bit here and there, which might have led to a couple of lost fights, but in the end, I ended up with more than 500 mythological creatures killed and almost two dozens of rare drops from them. So let's quickly get lost in the numbers. I recorded the data for 538 creatures that I dug up and I was able to obtain an insane amount of information from them. I also recorded the numbers for 40 minutes of actually grinding and in that time span I dug up 109 burrows. So to keep the numbers part with too much information and as short as possible, here's some interesting stuff that I found out. The chances for creatures spawning actually seem to be very curvy. It most certainly didn't feel like it, but I apparently spawned a ton more minotaurs than champions. For the lynxes, I actually personally felt like I spawned the most of them, but I also was obviously wrong with that assumption. And lastly, I think it's funny that the chances for the champion actually exceed the hunter. This obviously makes sense thinking about the fact that the minus hunter doesn't drop anything and just acts as a filler mob, but yeah, pretty cool. These numbers obviously are also based on my results, but as I already said, I got quite a few results to go through and these numbers should be pretty close to the actual numbers. Also, did I find out that whilst grinding away on burrows, you spent more than 50% of your time digging up nothing, money or just simply a griffin feather. On the other hand, this might have to do with the fact that I don't always follow arrows but also dig up burrows that are close to me, which at least from now on I won't be doing anymore. And lastly, with the prices from the last event at least, I was able to make around 7000 coins per borrow. And that was without the occasional money drops where you'd actually be able to even dig up 750,000 coins from a single borrow. But since it's not only about the coins you make from a borrow regarding the regular creature drops, here's the actual results and also the according money I made with it in a much easier to understand and look at manner. So I killed 538 mythological creatures and was able to get all these drops. Since these drops are are able to be only obtained by a certain creature, here is the chances for each one of them. I was most certainly not able to obtain all the rare drops that exist, but I will make sure to get them in the next event. But for all the other drops, it's safe to say that they are at least as rare, if not even more, than the chances just shown right here. The price for each item here obviously heavily depends on the market and the perfect example would be the Shelmet that whilst the event was going on was around 5 to 7 million coins and now spiked up again to around double that. So with the actual event numbers I was roughly awarded with 42 million coins. This was based on almost 8 million coins that I just simply dug up from the ground, 28 million coins from rare drops 
And lastly, 6.5 million coins from regular mob drops and the griffin feathers you get here and there. And all that was done in around 5 hours of actual playtime. This would result in 8.2 million coins per hour, which would actually make this an insanely good money making method. But let's get a bit more into the reality behind these numbers. This obviously is very unstable as the actual output is bound to a lot of factors, which includes luck from your rare drops, the bazaar prices from the actual regular drops, such as the ancient claws or feathers, and lastly it's also bound to your luck on digging up a lot of money from the bars themselves. But by playing this event, you don't only get the money as well as the items themselves, but you also get a big step closer to your next level on your Beastmaster Crest Talisman. So in conclusion, this event is, as I already stated, my absolute favorite. And this might also come from the fact that it's bound to way more factors than just one simply being luck. Obviously it plays a big part as well, but you can not only have a ton of fun grinding away on it, but it will reward you in even the worst circumstances with the regular pet drops and at least get you a step closer to even more pet XP boost. This video was super fun to make and even though it took an insane amount of time, I would love to hear your guys' opinion on this video as I myself simply loved it and I'd be super excited to hear about yours. Just as a last reminder, I've not only uploaded a complete and fully detailed guide on this event for you to check out if you still want more information, but I have also, like I already said earlier, put my mod into its public beta release stage. So if you haven't already, check out the description and if you're still not sure what to do now, you can always check by my Twitch channel and you might actually be able to catch me live over there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it and with that said, thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day. Well, it's <laughs> okay.